just want to thank Anchor for making this podcast possible. Um, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. It's solely free. They have creation tools that allow you to record, edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Um, they'll distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Um, it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go check it out. Go download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's real easy. That's what we use. I just uh, edit the podcast, upload it to the website, and um, they pretty much do the rest of the work for us. So go check it out, guys. Thank you. Welcome back, our intrepid listeners. When last we found our heroes, they had successfully killed Hitler. What? Found their way. What did you just say? Uh, they killed Hitler? <laughs> See, this is the problem with you Americans. You always think that you kill Hitler. Oh, Hitler dead. Hitler's never dead. I am alive. They can't kill me and never will kill me. They will never find me or hunt me down. I am invincible. Well, I guess we would need to uh, help our friends Do you out. hear what I said? I am invincible. Don't even try to come near me, you silly Americans. You will never find me in my secret lair. Hidden out in New Zealand... Oh. Okay, well, I need to have a new secret layer. But you will never find the second secret layer. <laughs> well, we need to get back to our heroes so that they can find Hitler. When we last we found them, they had retrieved the deed out of the sinkhole and were heading home. All right, Hayden. What a solid podcast, bro. Very, very, very good stuff. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like we're going. I almost feel like we not only are doing well in America, but I feel like maybe in the back of my head, there might be a couple people out there in Germany. Like, I'm not going to lie. Probably somebody really? out there in Germany listened to us. I, give or take no a couple way. of them. Yo, how much wow, would you freak out cool. if a girl was listening to us? You can't do that be because all of you, man. <laughs> Stop it. All I'm taking. Honest, man. I can't. I'm can't. I'm taking. Candace already, you know. Yeah, Candace, wait, Candace and I are kind of a thing. So uh wait, you speak, mean... Yeah, oh, Candace. Okay. Where is she? Speaking of Candace. Hello? Candace? Where is she? Uh, um yeah, I think Sarge was with her, but uh, I think we should uh we should like finalize this podcast a little bit more, right? I mean <laughs> Finalizing needs to happen later, okay? Right now, I need to make sure that Sarge isn't putting the moves onto Candace, okay? Oh, no, Listen, no, no. I'm he, just some Colorado. What's oh, okay? No, I don't think you understand. He's a military guy, okay? They're butch. I'm just some guy who lives in a basement in Colorado, okay? I can't compete, Sarge. Dude, Sarge. There you are. There. <laughs> Hey, Sarge, where's uh, yo, where's Candace at? Uh... Oh, hi, Joe. Well, she's back in the build, uh, back in the room over there. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go snag her then, Sarge. You know, you don't have to protect her anymore. I got this. Uh, go easy I, I would on her, Joe. Let her, uh, I would probably let her sleep. You know, <laughs> uh, a lot of strenuous activity. She needs a rest. Well, listen. <laughs> Well, she won't get a lot of rest with me running through her mind. Oh, Candace! Candace, I'm coming! Candace! Yo, you forgot your ED pills! <laughs> uh, well, hopefully he doesn't need them for Candace. <laughs> <laughs> Candace is so funny! So when she did just... you think that we were going to get a rescue? Oh, I don't know, but Candace told a great joke. It was so good, but anyways. Oh, geez, so, man. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Oh, hey, I look. I go this excited. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm super pumped. Um, <laughs> Jeez, it's like podcast and then this. Is Dude. that is that another helicopter coming? Oh, snap! Is that one of ours? It is, Candace. Don't worry. This is it. We're gonna go home. <laughs> Who's standing in that uh, that door? What? That helicopter thing. Oh, it's a woman. Oh, okay, Candace. Uh, um, Sarge, Wait, take her hands. She's good now. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, that pilot doesn't look very happy. Dude, how dare you? 
Oh. I know everything. Oh, I know the podcast. I know what you're doing with Candice. You're coming home with me right this instant. Oh, oh, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, like. Hey, mister. Get in the helicopter. We're going home right now. Oh. Well, I'm on that. That does my sense. We're going home. That's, uh, you're rescuing us, right? Everybody in the chopper right now. God. Sarge, <laughs> now Can- Candace is with Sarge the whole time. I don't know what you're talking about. I like. don't hear it too. I know everything. I listen to the podcast. Shit. I heard everything. Get in here. All right. Well, all right. I guess we'll get go in. Get your hands off that filthy slime bag. Oh. I knew you'd do this to me again. That one time in Cabo, and that other time in the. <sighs> oh. I can't even count the number of times. I know so, it. So, uh, what's the weather like back home? <laughs> uh, guys. <laughs> well, uh, what is... I got the deed, huh? huh Chaco? What? Hold on, hold on. Who is this lady who keeps shouting out that Joe the whole time? She seems oh, pretty no, Just angry. get in the helicopter, man. Uh, at right. least we're going home, right? <laughs> all right, all right. We're all we're going. going home, I right, think Joe? everyone's here. What? Yeah, all aboard. Yeah. No, we're, we're gonna go to the... We're gonna go to the... We're gonna go to the... We're going back to the base. We're back to the base. We're going back to the base. Oh, oh, oh you forgot the robot. Robot! Oh, hey, don't Kirby. worry. The robot said he doesn't want to come. The robot said he will not come. He said it's okay. Leave him here. He said oh, he's great. Not okay. The fat man took up all the space oh. and won't let me in. Oh, that's. Check off. Can you kind of move over a bit so he can yes. get in? Yes, that's fine. I move over there. He's, he's enough room. This is plenty of room for robot. The, the, the robot can fit in a suitcase. I swear that thing folds up like crazy, man. All right, <laughs> all right. Well, it looks like we're off to the base here. I'm so, I'm glad that I have everyone here, including you, Mr. Robot. So glad you could make it. Well, you're that a man good smells like a barrel of fish. Robot insulting you constantly. <laughs> yeah, I, all right. It's it's funny, Sarge. I get it. It's funny. What were you saying, Robot? I couldn't understand you. I was partially ignoring you. I said, you smell like a barrel of fish. Oh, oh, what oh. have you eaten lately? <laughs> All right. Okay, that's it. I'm sick and tired of these jokes. All right, there. Uh, oh, oh, look, robot. Look outside there. there that is a sexy woman robot down low over there. She's showing off her, her little, uh, her big old cogwheels. Look, look. Uh-huh. Too bad. I Take that. don't have any. Ah, look. Get Get the hell out of this robot to be Dude, check <laughs> out check we out how could you robot. do that? Oh no, the, the robot. robot we we needed he, him. No, he said he wanted to go out and fly. He wanted to know if robots could fly. He, he was pretty happy. Starts, don't worry. He, this robot is good. He's good. Um, okay. I don't think he can fly, but it's okay. I have magnetic boots. Damn it! All right, get, get off. off. All right, you get, 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 get the heck off. Stop that, man. Push me off of them. What the wait, wait. At least I will die slim and sexy, unlike him. I, I tried to... Boots failed. No, How robot. Heck? I don't know, Serge. I tried to reach out for him, but his grip, you know, was weak. No, uh, and, uh, he let go. Push him off. The only th- no, I, I don't know what Hayden talks about. Uh, you didn't see anything at all, Sarge. You saw me try to reach in. I did. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, Robot didn't even matter and fell. I think that's how the song goes. Ooh. It's fine. Don't worry. Robot is still out here in wilderness. Robot will succeed in wilderness. He loves it out there. He's yeah, free. But we use him in a... I don't know. Sarge, what do you think? Robot is fine. This robot will be fine out here in Russia. What, don't you think so? I mean, he is a Russian robot after all. See? See, Sarge agrees. I mean, what is... He's win-win. He's back at home. I don't have to deal with his crap, and uh, we're headed to base. We are yeah, awfully real hot. 
know if he survived that fall. Oh, I'm sure he'll survive. If not, he rebuilds himself very slowly, though. Very like Terminator. You ever see that one with that, uh, uh, yeah, what is R his R name? R that Schwarz Schwarzenegger? Oh. I like that one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The robot came back once already, didn't he? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he's fine. Yeah, well, maybe he's still around here. He's good. He's good. He's he's come back twice. He's he's fine. Robot, fine. He's he's fine. The real he'll, question he'll is, he'll uh, his way back to pizza subs and see you at the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sarge. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, but I don't even think you'll have time to visit me. You're going to be such a big, popular kind of a uh, uh, army man. You're probably going to get recruited to six to six star general. I think. Can you? <laughs> yeah, well, yes. <laughs> I mean, hey, you didn't kill him after retire, all. <laughs> <laughs> could retire. Yes, retire, right? What would you do if you were retire? Where would you go? <clears throat> like Go back home, right? What? Yeah, yeah. Go back home to your women, your blonde women that you all go after, or the Asian women, depending on the, like, Portion of the United States you fought for, so but uh, yeah, you go back. Yeah, we wanted Candace. <laughs> it's not who we want. I would definitely need to explore a little. Probably play the field. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right. Yeah, I respect that. You know what? Maybe one day when I retire, I will play fields play, as well. Play fields? What does that mean? Like like, like baseball? No, like play like play the field. Like like what do I want to do? Like you know hobbies or. Smaller jobs that I want to get mad at, but I only work two days a week, you know, something like one of those. Oh, you mean like uh, do a podcast locked up in a basement? Or, or one of those if I was loser like you, Hayden, <laughs> of course, but, you know, I have future. I have bright future. Who knows? Maybe lead the Boy Scouts. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to lead Boy Scouts, you know? <laughs> All right. At least they're cooking. Man, it doesn't good. look very good up front there. Those two don't look like they're having a good time. You know, I didn't know Joe had a wife all this time in his basement. I never knew he had a wife. Well, he did a good job at hiding it. I'm not going to lie, though. The last time I saw a woman scorn that bad was, was my babushka. She was not a happy lady with my uncle with him. <laughs> Let me yeah, tell you. Yeah. He disappeared. Yeah. Never saw him again. But she still collected his social security checks, you know. I just can't see you with a woman. I mean, no offense. I hate to bring up. I hate to be the robot in this scenario, but you just don't look like you could. You would have what? any woman. You don't think I could handle a woman? <laughs> Listen here, all right. There is one that's in my heart, very special. Well, one I day know women in rest are a little bit different, <laughs> so yeah. a little more musky and huskier. You're not wrong. That is why I chase the love. wilder. The more exotic women, if you will. And there's one I'm thinking of in particular. One day, I think I can prove my worthiness to her. What was her name? You know, name does not matter. You know, it's it's not about name. It's about the uh, it's about her spirit. You know. Babushka. Well, no, like like what who she is like. Who you know <laughs> like she. Oh, she's, well, I'm sure. She's, I'm uh, my space. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Anyways, anyways, look, there's the base. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Get off topic. Oh, the base. Oh, we're we're headed home. Wait, Joe, why are we leaving here? We're supposed to be going home, right? <laughs> Funny story is, my wife not only blames me, but she blames all you guys. And uh, she's not going to take you guys back. Home because it's expensive and she doesn't want to afford the fuel. So she's going to drop you off all off at the base and uh, no. she's not going to go home. So it's, it's going to be. Joe, I can't be a... Wait. Don't. No. Why are we getting off? I can't. Joe, I can't you be just, here. Just get off, okay? I, and, okay. Be... Oh, get, get off the helicopter, oh, Fred. Oh, get off the helicopter. All right. All right. That Ow. wasn't so hard. Okay. All right. Hey, listen. Sometimes. Sometimes uh, separation is kind of tough too, okay? But uh, don't worry. All right, I'll catch yeah. you guys later. All right? Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. See you there. Bye. Don't yeah, worry. Man. Man. That's like the worst I thing see. Listen, I'm not big a fortune teller, but I don't see a very happy few months going forward. Lot of, lot uh, of, lot of chores. 
What do you think, Sarge? Do you ever have a woman man? get mad at you like that before? Well, gee, there was this one time, no. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> right. Oh, look, there's quite many people coming right towards you, though, Sarge. Yeah. Hi. Hey, it's, it's, the guy, it's the guy that killed her. Hi. It's hey. the Sarge. Hi. So, oh, hi. Thank hi. you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Hi. Is it? Is it true? That you killed Hitler? Yes. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to buy you a drink. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy you a drink. He did kill Hitler. I'm going to buy him a drink. No, I'm going to buy him a drink. Listen. No, it's me. Right, you know what? You and I are going to scrap right here. Listen, I'm going to buy him a drink. It was, it was definitely not a robot. Definitely <sighs> not a robot. All right. All right. Glad it wasn't a robot, because let me tell you, the last guy who thought he killed Hitler turned out to be a robot. Well, I'll tell you something. It did end yeah, well for him. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll this see you at the bar. Uh, uh, yes. Let's get. All right. You put you put his leg on your shoulder. I'll put oh, his, I'll leg, put, leg I'll put his right leg. I clamp his right leg. All right. Here's the man. Yeah. He ho. He ho. Oh, well. Well, thank you, guys. Here comes the Hitler killer. Here comes the Hitler it's, it's a killer. Home. It's good to be home. <laughs> I don't think... Guys, oh, tyranny is done. Thanks to this man right here. That's bad. This, yeah. this brave you know, man has saved the world of the future. And even if he if he comes back, you know, even if he if he's not dead, you know... Yeah, but why would he do that? <laughs> yeah. What makes you think There's no way he's coming back. Yeah, right. The way Come you on. kill people, right? I've seen it. Right. Remember that exactly. time yep. you killed that guy with a shoelace? You killed him straight <laughs> dead. That was crazy. The he just waved the shoelace in his face and he was dead. You like took Indiana Jones with a shoelace. Straight up. Yep, that's a true story. Yep. That's, that's crazy. Yep. Oh, man. I didn't even just believe that. Guys, such. Is guys that this is the one that killed Hitler. Well, hey, know. everyone. <laughs> Hitler's dead because of this man. You, you know what? Oh, I, I, I get back to my, get back Hitler to my buddy. Uh, you got oh, to go have a drink. Him. He's trying to get a wife. Yeah, yeah. You guys go have a drink. I, I, I'll get back over here with my buddies. I gotta take care of them. Make sure that they find a place. You know. Okay. Hey, remember, we'll wait you at the bar. But don't forget, if you really did kill Hitler. We'll kill you instead. <laughs> That's a joke. That's just a joke. Yeah, yeah, right. But, yeah, he really right. did kill him, so <laughs> it's okay. We don't have to it's do that. It's all good. We don't really have to hold our threats up to up to up to up to realism. You know what I mean? They're empty threats because you clearly killed Hitler. So uh, I'll see you at the bar. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Sarge, hey, man, do you think he, uh, he actually didn't kill Hitler? Is there a possibility? I'm not going to lie. It, it can't be right. <laughs> when I was going through the helicopter, there was a couple of robot parts I could not identify. But it felt Shh. like there was more than one robot body in there. Yeah, Sarge, what are they going to do when they find out that you actually didn't kill Hitler? We don't really know what yes. happened there. I, I, I mean, there isn't proof that we didn't kill Hitler, right? I mean, uh, well, there's no proof that we did, though. He's not wrong. I mean, I guess it's in that Schrodinger's box. Only this is Schrodinger's Hitler. Uh, guys, as don't look, he's uh, guys, they're coming back. Uh, there's a huge crowd, a mob coming back. They've got pitchforks. Hey, you told us that you killed Hitler, but I just got a liar. He just Stand tweeted. He just tweeted. This man deserves to die for his crime. Uh, kill him. I'll kill him. Uh, How could you lie, mister? How could you lie, mister? Oh, that kid's really quiet. Oh, man. They're very angry. I don't understand why. Oh, God, so guys, upset. what are we going to do? Well, what are we going to do? Check off. Do oh, something. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold, I, hold on. I can't concentrate. My phone is going off. There's people yelling. My phone's going off. You're yelling What's at me. I, I don't know. It's. Well, pick it up. Pick it All up. Right, I don't need it. Yes, yes. Hello. Talk fast. Don't waste minutes. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay, calm down. I'll hand the phone over. Here, Hayden. It's for you. What? It's Joe. Me? Yes, it's Joe. Tell him not to waste uh, minutes again. You guys always waste Joe, minutes. Dude, we're like getting attacked by a mob. It's not a good time, hey, dude. Hey, we got to call you back later, hey, man. Hey, hey. Hey, Joe. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. my. Sarge. 
Watch out! Oh, oh geez, that guy has a cook grenade. Oh, I'll cook it with this grenade. Hayden, Hayden, are you there? Yo, that Hayden. Guy some, that, okay. some cow horns. Are like, what? Hayden, yes, I'm here. Hayden, I need you to focus. Focus we up. just got a mob. Yeah, you got a mob? Attacking us. Okay, okay. Yeah. Listen, listen. I convinced the wife for us to come back and get you. Only under one condition. What? Well, what? well, I told oh, her. God. I told her the podcast is actually making money now. I mean, it, I mean, it, you know, well, it is right. I mean, I mean, what's the whole point? I mean, yeah, sure. You know, I told her we had enough over. The problem is, is uh, I spent it on the PlayStation. What? What I thought was a PlayStation. I knew it on the Xbox. Oh, well, the no. Xbox. Okay, but the worst part is, I thought it was a PlayStation Xbox, Five, but it turned out that? to be a PlayStation Two and a PlayStation Three taped together. So I, I got gypped. We're we're both upset. Okay, we both got screwed over. Okay, okay. Listen, we both. We both. <laughs> semantics, Hayden. Semantics. Okay. Anyways, so I can come I can. get you, but we gotta hurry up and do this podcast because that way we can get the money to be able to pay for the gas to come back and get you, and that way my wife doesn't kick my ass for spending money on a PlayStation Ooh. Three and Two taped together. You want to do a podcast right now while yes. we're being chased in the wilderness by an angry mob that thought we killed Hitler, but we actually didn't? I mean, it's going to make for a really good action flick. I mean, why not? I mean, your energy? I mean, think about it. Oh, what? God. Hyped. You're going to be hyped. Dude, I'm in a full out. Actually, I'm not really sprinting because I'm in a wheelbarrow. Okay. Yeah, I was about so. to say, I was like, last time I thought you were in a wheelbarrow. Are you just rolling down the hill right now? No, it's just Chekhov. Chekhov, how you doing with the legs? Is your legs getting tired? Yeah. I don't. I can't feel legs. Oh, I can't no. feel heart. Pretty sure I've oh, already died what? twice. Uh, you got a spear stuck in the back of your neck. Oh, is that? That would That's explain the profuse fine. bleeding. Okay, let me get this out. Right, it's fine. Oh, geez, you know this was a. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Okay. It's it's Russian blood coagul coagulates faster than regular blood. Do not worry. But what does Joe say? How did get an RPG again? Oh, don't worry about that. But what did Joe say? Joe wants to do a podcast. To he said he's going to come back and get us, but he needs gas money, oh so we God. have to do a podcast. Sarge, did you hear what he said? Uh, we have to keep running. <laughs> just running off. Oh my god. We got right, but they this need to make bad. a podcast so they can get gas so we can fly back. Oh, I got hit with a poisonous dart. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Don't, don't worry. Alright, hold on. Get close. I'll suck it out. Hold on. I'll suck it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're good. You're fine. Alright, hurry up. All right. Record podcast. We need to hurry okay. up and get out of here. Wait, Sarge really? is. Well, yes. How else are we going to get out of here? I'm not going to hang with that, Sarge. Gosh, I know. Mm, how bad can this mob really be, though, you, you know? Well, I don't <sighs> know. Have you tried asking the mob? Yeah, oh, I got hit with another dart. Oh. It's pretty bad. Okay, hold on. I'll suck that out. Okay, hold on. I think I lost it for a couple uh, seconds. Listen, please, you guys. Yes. Need to suck that. Uh, we need I, I got to get that. out of here. All right, Sarge. How do we get out of here? We have to. Well, have to, we'll Joe yes. is on the phone. Oh, oh okay, Chekhov. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, we have to do the podcast. Oh, shit. Here they come. I got to go. Oh. go. Joe is on the phone with uh, with me right now. He said if we do the podcast, we, he can get gas money and uh, come back and get us. You sure your wife's okay with that, man, Joe? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's good. As long as we is, got the cash, man. She as long as can she's... we talk to her? Or... Uh, She's flying the helicopter, Hayden. Josh! Jesus, it's fine! She's she's flying the helicopter. All right, Hayden, we got to hurry up and record this. Let's go. Let's get this going. All right, man. Uh, guys, we're going to do a quick podcast. I mean... And, uh, oh. oh, these darts, they just keep coming. I know. Don't All worry right. about it. You want me to start it, or...? Yeah, go for it. All right, ready? Three, two... One. All right, welcome back, guys, to the Pizza Subs podcast. Uh, you got Hayden here, and uh, that's me, obviously. And I got Joe with me. Yo, what is going on? And we got Chris. Hey, hey, hey. If he's not ch it, being chased by an angry mob, <laughs> he's on the <laughs> podcast. He's How are you guys doing chased. tonight? I'm good, I'm good, you know. And hanging out down the street, 
uh, downloading the Halo. Our German uh, audience. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And uh, <laughs> recording, or not recording, sorry, downloading uh, the new Halo campaign. So looking forward to uh, playing that here uh, in, you know, later tonight. Oh, oh, yeah, that was so good. You had to download it? Well, no, I have a job. I had it on, uh, I have it on Game Pass, so I don't have to download it. I have it on Game Pass, but I have to specifically select the campaign to download it. Like, it wasn't an or, option. Oh, no, wait. I have it on Xtreme. That's why. Oh, uh, there you go. My computer's not good enough. Yeah. What about you, Chris? What have you been up to, bud? Uh, you know, I've been <laughs> looking at all the previews for the new games here. There's some really good stuff coming out. I'm excited. What's, like, the one game you're like, dude, I'm going to get that game for sure? Uh, Well... The one that I'm super impressed with is the new Dark Souls, uh, made by the same company as Dark Souls. It's a open world RPG based off of the Dark Souls world, like the game engine. So I'm a little like I don't know if that one's gonna be good or not, just because I'm no good at Dark Souls. <laughs> I Dark love. Souls dark souls but i'm i'm like it took me forever to beat dark souls 3 but i did all of the bosses before the dlc even the secret bosses and i was like cool did it done and i haven't nice. played it since well yeah i've never played that game i um when that game came out i was uh afraid of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was a tough game uh it's called elden ring Elden Ring. I'm about to check that out. So, RPG setting in the same universe as, uh, like you said, as a uh, Dark Souls. So that should be kind of cool. It's it, well, I, I don't know if it's the same universe, but it's the same engine. So they uh... have it's open world. They they still have uh, bonfires for you to stop at. They do have new things that are like way shrines where you can choose to respawn at a way shrine. Um. But they were like, you know, definitely made sure that they made it as hardcore as possible. You know, people were complaining that Dark Souls were too hard. The first boss in the game, just like all the other Dark Souls, are is super tough and and hard to, to beat. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Dang, it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like, uh, have you ever played like Dante's Inferno game? Yeah, long time ago. It's actually yeah, it a really that. good. That's actually super good, like hidden gym hack and slash game. Yeah, yeah. it was such a great yeah, one. Like, it's kind of like a God of War kind of thing. Yep, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, probably closer more to like uh, I would argue. I mean, I guess God of War is kind of similar to that sure. style of like the Devil May Cry, kind of like hack and yeah, slash. Feel. Devil May Cry, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, dude. What about you, Hayden? What do you what do you get pumped for? You said you you said you played a little bit of the campaign already? Dude, yeah. I really like Halo. Like so to um let everybody know, I guess, I play on like an old not an old laptop, it's just uh, a laptop that doesn't have a graphics card. Yeah. So I bought the I got the Game Pass thing for like three months for three bucks. And um, it, they have Xtreme on there, so I can stream everything. So, um, oddly enough, like I've been playing Forza, and that game gets pretty laggy on Xtreme. But then playing Halo, even multiplayer, it's there's like no lag. I mean, there is stutter every once in a while, but it's crazy how smooth it is for me. And uh, yeah, man, once I picked up the BR and just started dominating. <laughs> It felt so good. It was like I was back in Halo 2 or Halo 3 days. Well, even just so, playing the multiplayer right now, like all I keep thinking about right now is playing Halo. Like I just love it. I'm, it just feels good to be so back into that desire freaking, to play it. Yeah, the graphic, everything's just good, man. Uh, except for those uh, those grenades. Like what's going on with that? I don't know. My... I think like the grenades are kind of funny. They're just, I think it just is what it is kind of with them. I think my biggest like thing for like Halo right now in the multiplayer is like some things I don't get kill me and some things do like AOE damage of grenades. Like what's the drop off range 
Um, and I'm not a big fan of the melee per se. Like I think, I feel like the old Halos had it to where as long as you had a little shield left, the melee wouldn't kill you. But now it's like if you have like just a little bit of shield, someone can still melee through that shield and kill you, which is kind of annoying. I think it removes a lot of gunplay up close and starts forcing mm -hmm. people just to sit there and melee a whole lot more. So Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, it's like I was like pumping a guy with like BR shots just like boom boom boom. They weren't all headshots, but it's just boom 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 and he's just charging at me, charging at me. And as soon as he gets up to me, he's melee and I'm dead. I was like, What? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, it makes better. sense if you look at uh, a lot of sci-fi movies and anime where they talk about having kinetic shields and a melee attack is doesn't have enough kinetic energy to be stopped by the shield, and so you can get through it easier. But well, that's fair. definitely in, in gameplay, that makes it uh, it does make it a little interesting because that's I mean, the one thing I've always found in a lot of first-person shooters is you can really knock somebody out if you can get up close to them. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, like, um, they said, what, Master Chief or Spartans can flip tanks with their armor, so I guess it does make sense that they, they're they super powerful when you, you get hit by them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I think, though, if I'm... I gotta go back to my Halo stuff, because I don't think they have a kinetic shield. Their shield is all is like an actual like physical, like almost made of like a plasma system. Uh, it's actually an actual like, what's a way to say like a like an actual texture to it. In fact, they had to find like the right in the books to talk about how they find they had to find like the right amount of shielding on the bottom of the shoe to where they wouldn't skate because they wouldn't have any um, physical like connection to the floor or whatever. Like they would just end up like uh, sliding around. So as far as that being kinetic shield, I think it's more of like an actual like physical plasma ish type of shield, especially the way that the universe works, because they got some of their devicing, I think, from maybe some of the old tech. I, I got to go back and read that stuff. But yeah, but right, go through games again and remember. Yeah. But uh, for me, it's also kind of like, like you said, going back to the gameplay or whatever. It's kind of like, OK, like melee wise it's super annoying and gets rid of the gun plays um i feel like also some of like the mid-tier guns like they're just kind of lame if they're not the br i think the dmr needs less bloom i think um i think the dmr needs to have less bloom on the amount of shots it needs to take somebody it starts to have this huge bloom at the end so wow. they, yeah they either yeah, need to like ttk like the like they either need to let it kill somebody in one bullet faster or i think they should lower the spread um, in my opinion, the way that it, I think that I think the nice thing about that gun, because the BR is super accurate, so I think the coolest thing they could do with the DMR, or whatever they're calling it now, I always forget, but they should probably make it kill less fast because it'll make it feel different than the BR. Because beforehand, the the DMR and the BR killed four four shots no matter what. Um, it definitely right. feels different. I like that, so I think the less time to kill would be better. But I think it would be nice to have it with a better um, uh, spread. So it'd be kind of nice to use that to kind of try to maybe help suppress people more at range and kind of use it more as a range opportunity versus like a, uh, a non-range opportunity. So like, you know, medium to closer range, the BR dominates, but like out to further range, like that DMR could be used a lot better, um, you know, for like putting down some shots or whatever. So, I mean, that's what I would do. So... I've I've never used the DMR and the I've only used the BR the assault rifle and the there's like that other gun that's kind of like it, you can zoom in but it shoots faster it's kind of like a heavy machine gun in a way but not um, like but it's a single shot right it's like that DMR though it's got a scope oh is that right? the DMR yeah I forget what they call it right because it's just a single shot gun like a single round when you pull the trigger it so. seems like a heavy weapon yeah it's like do 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 but it shoots really fast but like the time to kill is slower than the BR. Yeah, it's weird. The BR is so nice, though. It's just so accurate. Just the BR feels like a Halo 2 BR, which is super nice. Yeah, I love that. I do but, enjoy it. Yeah, the, so because the other the DMR in the other games is just a single shot, right? Just a single shot. BR, yeah, it's been a single shot since because uh, it came out of Reach, and then they put it in Halo 4 and Halo 5. 
But you like that pistol, right? I actually really like that pistol a lot. I'm pretty good with it. <laughs> You're really good with it. Oh, nice. Do, 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 do. Yeah. yeah. They don't have the pistol with the scope or the big pistol that's... Uh, oh, yeah, the old Magnum back in Magnum. the day. Yeah, we need the Magnum. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny to have the Magnum back. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where you would put it. It would just end up being s- shooting similar to another gun. Maybe what you yeah. do is make it a lot like the pistol, um, accuracy wise. But the time to kill is like per round is less, less kills for the round. But then you, um, what's the word I'm looking for? But then it, like it shoots slower, like it used to. It'd be kind of interesting to have that. You know, you don't get the zoom. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you know, you don't get the ex- exact zoom. Because the reason why the Magnum from Halo One existed, because that was the actually the most range gun, right? Because they don't, they never had the BR in Halo One, right? It was only in Halo uh, Two and up. So like it, yeah. it basically replaced um, the BR replaced the Magnum, and that's why the Magnum was different in uh, Halo Two. And then Halo Three, they're like, oh, we're gonna bring back the old Magnum, and everyone's like, yo. And you couldn't even zoom in on that. People are like, "That's whack." So, what is the pistol that is in now? Right, I'm pretty sure. The uh, pistol in three was like the original Magnum, and then um, the uh, Halo. The pistol right now is more like the pistol in Halo Two, the black Magnum that they had in that one, which is a, fi- a high rate of fire. Kind of. Oh a thing. yeah, I love when you can dual wield those two. Yeah, two yeah, two dual wield. <laughs> I remember when everyone so like. Cool. The, like when Halo 2 came out, they're showing like Master Chief with two SMGs. And everyone's like, yo, freaking two guns, let's go. The SMGs, I hated that gun. That gun had to be dual wielded. Dude, it yeah. had to be, dude. It was awful. Like, like, why don't I have an SMG you just walk around with this little like square gun? Yeah, dude. Like, the, my favorite combo though was with that because like the whole thing back in the Halo 2 time was that the plasmas were better at taking the shields down but weaker against the body. The bullets were weaker against the shields, but stronger against the body. So it was kind of fun to combo one, those two together. Like get the plasma yeah. to help melt the shield faster and then run the SMG to kill kill you faster afterwards. Yeah, or the pistol. Fully charged, fully charged the alien pistol. Take out their shield in one hit and then uh, switch yeah. over to kill Magnum and kill them in one hit. Oh, dude, the noob yeah, combo? The noob, the noob combo. <laughs> I love the noob combo. It, it's fun to run in Halo or right now because you can tell most people don't realize what the noob combo is. They're starting to learn about it more because you're starting to see it a whole lot more often. I think they did a good job with the noob combo in this game. Like it's kind of hard to get that plasma hit off on them, and then the so like, it doesn't fall as heavy. And... Yeah, but it's it's pretty cool. Like I like it a ton. That's funny that you could charge that up. That was weird. That's a weird gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... But I like the bolt gun. I like the bolt, like... Oh, the um, needler? No, it's the new gun. It's a... Uh, it's like a bolt, like... It's like a strong, like, bolt pistol. Kind of looks like the old Mauler from, like, Halo uh, 3. Or Halo 2, actually, yeah, I guess. I yeah, yeah. Just boom, boom. You just, like, click it. It's like a staple gun, kind of. It's like, um... It shoots like a slug <laughs> round. Like a slug round. Yeah, but it's powerful. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but they're yeah. not brutes, right? They're the I can't remember what they're called, but they're not brutes. They're like something else, I think. Oh, don't spoil. Or maybe they're brutes. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I know, right? You mean? But yeah, I like the guns. Like before, I think every Halo, at least that three four three has done. It seems like there's just random weapons. Like it, it they just it just seemed like there were there was too many random weapons in the game but yeah. now it feels like really it's like really balanced like all the guns that they have every single every single gun is um unique in its in its own right and it has its own purpose like before it's like what's this gun oh what's this gun they just added a bunch of like weird guns that did weird stuff you know yeah, maybe right. it's because of the promethean stuff but yeah. but yeah now it's just like Oh, sick! This gun can do this. Oh, this can do this. And even like the old weapons, like the Needler, the Needler feels a little bit better. The um, like the plasma rifle, it feels a little bit better. You know, it's not just like a copy of like a weapon that's alien or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I think they've really done like everything you pick up. You're like, oh, okay. I mean, you still don't really want to pick up a plasma pistol unless you have to. 
in my in in the campaign at least in, in yeah. my mind my opinion but um yeah every weapon you pick up like, even the grenades too but yeah there's this new grenade the, i think it's like a shock grenade and it like tallies the other grenades and it like shocks the guy it's really cool slowly drains the shield and everything yeah and then like powers down vehicles yeah kind of like a um energy field or whatever yeah. or uh whatever it's called uh like a i don't know i can't think of it but yeah something that tesla nicole tesla would invent <laughs> but yeah i'm really loving the game i mean i played uh, an hour of the campaign and um yeah cinematically it's it's cool how they did it and uh how they're doing everything so far you know getting uh reaffirmed with all the old enemies and stuff like that it's pretty cool i'm pumped i'm pumped no spoilers though no spoilers no no i won't say anything except for um he no i'm just kidding <laughs> Except for done. Chief <laughs> dies in the first five minutes. What? Cortana's a lesbian. Yeah, what? <laughs> You'll never guess why she doesn't show up. <laughs> yeah, but uh yeah, but I'm bummed though. It's this it's so weird. Like this game's launch is so weird. Like, okay, first they have the so first they have like the alpha beta. Then they have, oh, the multiplayer is released and it's free to everybody. So everybody can go and play it. And then the campaign comes out like a month later. Okay, you can play it. Oh, wait, it's not co-op. Oh, wait, that's going to come later. Oh, wait, Forge isn't one. So it's like, what the heck? Like, why aren't they releasing like a full game? Right, right. You know, so I think they said campaign or co-op and Forge isn't going to be in the game until like May. I was like, what? Why can't? Why can't you at least make it like two player co op? Like have a friend I mean that's that's Halo since day one. You know, two player co op. Welcome like to twenty twenty one. Soon to be twenty twenty two, man. Like that's just how gaming is in a nutshell. Like I, I that's what I was telling somebody it's like I'm like, man, like gaming just doesn't feel the same as before. And I think the biggest thing right now is the fact that like like you know when you get your game it's not going to be what they what you expect it to be at all and then they never are i think I can't, I can't name one game where i'm like this is everything i wanted for in the last even five years like in the last two yeah no nah, yeah, like battlefield yeah, five does i think the last one in recent memory was probably battlefield one was like this game is everything i wanted it to be i mean there was some hiccups right with that connection but that's that's different like it's not the core game right like hypothetically right. if the lag wasn't a problem and that weird black screen issue right the glitches weren't a problem but i'm talking about like the actual core what's in that game hypothetically let's say like there was no glitches right the game was everything i wanted it to be right there are games now that even come out like battlefield 2042 uh that where even if there were, were no inches i've never heard of that game yeah right <laughs> uh, it's a weird game it's, uh, i'm just gonna make up names like you know like uh, you know battlefield 2042 but like like you know if battlefield 2042 with all the glitches that it has if you got rid of all the glitches that game is still not what it i want it to be Destiny 2 was not what I wanted it to be. Destiny 1 was not what I wanted it to be. I think so far, but I mean, I haven't played the Halo campaign. Or even what they said it was supposed to be. I know. I mean, I literally cannot tell you a game. Actually, God of War. So God of War, I think, was probably more recent. But even then, you know, it's just like the fact that I have to actually be like, think about what game came out, what I want it to be is so disappointing. I just yeah, probably like Bad Company Two or Halo Three. Something. Yeah, I mean for sure the I, last shooter was definitely um, Battlefield One. Yeah, or Battlefield I see, Four. Uh, okay, Skyrim all the time for myself. Yeah, just but uh, yeah, I also hate that like there's not a lot of couch co-op anymore. They're expecting you to all have online play, and you can't have friends over and play video games anymore yeah you can they just have to bring their own console with their own xbox live subscription <laughs> okay 
<laughs> and that's your internet and bring an Ethernet cord. Another TV as well, you know. Yeah, TV, headset, gaming chair, G Fuel, mic. It's the whole Twitch yeah. streaming setup so they can stream on Twitch while you guys play. Uh huh. <laughs> that's the thing these days. Everybody streams on Twitch and they all are online. Everything's on the line. Right. So, yeah. Um, I think a game did that specifically. They're like, we're bringing back the couch co-op, and it was, I think it was like Cuphead, and it was it was a really good game I've heard, but uh, but it's a side scroller. Yeah, but I don't know if it really revitalized the the whole like co-op couch co-op thing. But yeah, I mean, it's like interesting couch co-op RPG. I think it was called um, oh, what is it? It was a really difficult RPG, though. It was like survival mode on maximum. Oh, uh, wow. I'll have to look Whoa. it up. Do you remember, I think, do you remember the Master Chief Collection? I think, like, I think I remember playing that game, and we tried to, like, do co-op, and it wouldn't let us or something. Like, what? This is weird. And then I don't even think you could do, like, Four player split screen on Master Chief Collection. It's like what happened to what happened to like going over to a friend's house and playing games together, you know? Right, exactly. All the, online. The game that I was talking about was called Outward. Oh yeah. I don't, well. But yeah, it's all online now. Yeah. I and just, I think... Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, like, it's just like, you know, it's kind of sad, right? How we are now oh, yeah. conditioned to accept mediocrity or more importantly, even less. And it's it's okay. We are willing to pay money for an uncompleted games. Uh, and that's okay. Like, and it's expected of us. More importantly, those games that come out busted as balls want us to spend money even more money than we allotted to at the start like i know games so games have been 60 bucks since what the 360 era because i think before the 360 and the playstation 3 era they're like maybe 50 bucks so it's been 60 bucks since 2000 what six seven so we're talking nearly 15 years of the same price for a game um yeah like you know so you want to talk about inflation wise i mean i remember like in 64 games like inflation wise cost of the value of like maybe 80 to 90 dollars in today's mo- well i mean now with the current inflation maybe like 100 bucks but like in general like how much that game was worth and so like at 60 bucks back in the day in 2000 um in 2007 you know that was pretty pricey you know and like the thing like i get why they have microtransactions because they feel like I'm I'm sure they probably and the reason why they do it is they make way more money on it than they would um, if people just bought the game for seventy or eighty dollars, right? Yeah. So they keep the game at sixty bucks or seventy if you're call of lame, um, and want to increase and have an, ex- an excuse for why it's seventy bucks, and then have microtransactions in the game. Um, I think the oh, issue well, we're, we're, EA or Activision, yeah, man. I think the issue we're running into now is that. The companies are so used to making just truckloads of money off of microtransactions and not truckloads of money of people buying the game that they don't give a shit if the game is half finished. As long as they have the number amount of player base playing the game and paying for the free or paying for the microtransactions have nothing to really even do with the overall capability of a game's performance. Uh, doesn't they could care less in fact i guarantee you they probably make more money with half the player base um than they would with um you know a full player base here you know what i mean if you, if you get what i mean on that one right okay. like i wonder if they make yeah. more money off of however big the call of duty black ops 2 was i wonder if they make way more money off of Warzone, which is free right for all the microtransactions like same thing with like halo now halo infinite right they're tossing them a battle pass because they expect people to they make money off the microtransactions and i think that's why we're getting games coming in incompleted is because they don't give a shit because that's not where the money is for them um people even if the game was ridiculed 
off the face of the planet, like people will still pay for the microtransactions because people want to look stupid like Santa Claus in Battlefield 2042, right? Like the amount of money they'll make in the long run, right? Because that kid just spent, what, 10 bucks for whatever it is, right? 65 bucks now. So now it's 65. And that kid's going to spend another 5 or 10 bucks more for whatever it is, right? So uh, 5 or 10 bucks more, right? Now for a game. So now they're over at 80 bucks and they're at 100 bucks for DLC content that doesn't even take that much to do. Like, I, I guarantee you the amount of money Thanks it takes. For Fortnite. Yeah, right? Well, even before that, you, you can look at FIFA. Thanks, FIFA. Um, you, I hope yeah. that I hope that game, ugh, I hope that game, forever sucks and whoever plays those games continuously and plays with like the packs um you guys are the bane of the existence of the, the reasons why microtransactions were created fun fact if you're curious what game started microtransactions fifa anywho yeah. um so i think well, also, i think yeah madden too they did the, the ultimate team yeah, yeah the but fifa did first team. fifa did first before the ultimate team um they did but it yeah, with their said- packs fortnite came in and said they made like more money than anything just and it's a free game just off of those like yeah those little like character skins and stuff and they're on like what season 21 or whatever some i don't even know every time it's like there's a new thing look ariana grande oh look this oh you coming into this event and it's (laughs) i I just remember dr disrespect like making fun of it he's like oh great i'm gonna play a game that i'm like flying around in the clouds guys didn't just (laughs) play in it like like that's funny what he was saying about it but yeah it's just like what the heck people pay just for like a digital concert in the clouds that you can like fly around like what the heck is this these days yeah but that brings in the money so that you know, and doing things i find have to be a little bit more interesting these days right yeah and 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 that's the like that's the problem. That's why we're always going to get half baked games going forward, guys. Is because of microtransactions. It's like and social the- media. It's you got to have everything new, like new content, consistent content. And if it's like, yeah, I feel like it's it's going that direction. Like if you could put something out new every month or every two months, and people are going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, it's new, it's new, it's new. But it's stupid. I don't care. It's new. Yeah, they don't care. Don't and they don't even like most of the time too. It's not even campaign. Most of the time too, especially like like if you look at a um, battle royale games, uh, it's it's going to get really interesting because like uh, you look at Call of Duty Warzone, right? And they might have just implemented what <clears throat> a third map, but like you know most people play the you know they have what the second one's like a prison map, the third one I think is a new like World War Two ish map, but they have the original one. But you look you talk about them and you talk about like. Fortnite, right and what what do they do to get players to come back in the seasons it was microtransactions and then they would change one small portion of the map right so you're not even creating a new map you just get your old map and put a freaking snow on it right and then people will freaking come there like call of duty Warzone, they had uh, the first big change on the map was literally they had a stadium and they just made this you, you couldn't get inside so then because they knew they knew in the back of their head they're like oh yo let's put the stadium in here people can't go in and people are going to be like mad about it they're like why can't i freaking go in the stadium this is dumb and then we're going to wait and then once things get start to get stale we're gonna be like yo you guys can go inside the stadium we're going to blow the top up and sure enough dude and then everybody spawned in the stadium they and, did yeah. they did dude yeah and it's just it's a stadium it's, it's a field, like yeah. one twelfth of yeah, the map and, two net and maybe some oversized soccer balls yeah and literally for that like you got your amount of your player base came back they spent money on the season pass spent money on a bunch of other crap like i mean like the amount of money they get and they just don't care because Dude, yeah i know a lot of people that just consistently buy every single season pass it's like yeah. why it's just because yeah, they gotta have the new stuff they just uh, don't care dude it's it's the new it's the new way to tell people that you have money yeah you know it's easy Sad to is. show off that i'm rich and without you know having to have fancy clothes and fancy cars by buying everything that comes out yeah yeah with call of duty yeah and that's so do you think oh sorry i was just gonna say just kind of like in conclusion kind of be like and that's why we will forever get incomplete games going forward and if you don't as long as it's not single player game 
right? Multiplayer yeah. games continue going forward are going to f- like suck your money dry and putting in half baked ass effort because all they have to do it's like a shitty relationship. All they have to do is slightly improve, not a lot, just a little. Just a little. Right. And people will be like, "Oh, it's getting better." Just a little bit. And then the next time you do it, you don't even have to improve anymore because you already did it once, just a little bit, just once. You get people up and they'll buy the next season and they'll bitch about that because it wasn't that good or blah, blah, blah. And then you improve again just a little bit. Every other time you improve just a little bit and people will sit there and complain about it all they want. They can say this game or that game, but guess what they're doing? They're still buying crap for that game. They're still playing it. Just like I'm doing with Halo right now. Like I'm no different. I'm trapped because I want to play Halo real bad, <laughs> right? But the game's so, not completed. I mean, granted, I have the pass, no. the game pass, right? But The game pass is a really good deal, though. My yeah, opinion. well, the game pass is a good deal. But, like, guess but, what? I, I it, schmucked yeah, out still. Falls. I schmucked out, and mm-hmm. I bought the season pass for Halo. Yeah, it falls along the same lines, though. And it's like, yeah, my friends were like, my friends got the game pass for the first I guess it's kind of like a side track, but they got it for the first time. And they're like, oh, dude, download this game. Dude, download this game. Download this game. It's like, uh, I only wanted to play like Halo and Forza. And, like, and then now they're like, yeah, they're like sucked into all these other games. Like, I mean, I guess that's cool, but <laughs> what's, you know, I don't know. What's the difference of me just like, oh, I just want to play two games. Yeah. And yeah, now they're like, well, now you got all these other games no, but, you can play but yeah that's just why with I think a, a continual monthly subscription. and I think that's why we are in a weird stalemate you, me, Chris all these veteran gamers are in the stalemate of like liking games and like not having as so much passion but all these new gamers are coming up and loving it because they don't know what's better for them Right. Well, I've never really played games brand new anyway these days. Like, yeah. Um, I, also, sale yeah. um, for thirty bucks at the at the maximum. Yeah. yeah, it's hard now. Yeah, like, why would you want to buy a game now? I guess the Game Pass is a good deal because it's like Halo is not even complete. Can you even buy like the? What what do you buy in Halo? If you want to buy Halo, can you buy it? Or like what? It's, it's the what game, if you don't pass. Have game Pass. You buy the Game Pass what, and you. Uh, what if you don't have it? What uh, if you just want Halo? You can do that. Can you go to like GameStop and be like I want Halo Infinite? Yeah. Really? And what do you get? The disc. You download it. <laughs> uh, I'm not <laughs> sure what you're asking here. My apologies. I mean, like. Because it's unfinished, right? So you just uh, so the disc is just a, a key now. It's just a CD key essentially. The the unfinished game that they plan on releasing later. Yeah, and just yeah, because everything's online, dude. Like you don't you don't need to have a completed game on a disc anymore. All right. You don't need it. Yeah. So and I also heard uh uh there's an article where all these companies like they got rid of like a thousand plus employees that were all QA quality assurance, like user, like testers and stuff like that, that test the game before it comes out. And uh, all these companies are ditching the QA department and uh, guess who becomes the QA then? We do. Yep. And, exactly. Uh, yeah. And, and then we get to suffer and wait until they like patch everything up. They yeah. came out with beta testing for a lot of things, and people were really enjoying that. Yeah, I guess you don't have to pay for that if people actually want to play. I mean, that's the nice thing. I mean, being like a developer, like a small developer like me, I mean, it's nice to be able to patch out things like consistently and see what people like and stuff like that. But when you're a big company and you like, especially like Halo, and you're a big team like and Battlefield and stuff like that. You know, you should have like your stuff together. You know, yeah. When your game comes out, you should at least test it. Oh, we've never tested this, but good luck. We'll find out if it works or not. But that's the beauty of the internet, I guess. So yeah. So yeah. So like, 
that is just it's just kind of weird how they're doing infinite w- would you guys rather have the complete package and wait until it's done or do you like how it's being released like this? wait till it's done but i'm old school mm-hmm. like i can still wait like i can wait for halo i could have waited for halo to come out early next year for the multiplayer coming together with the full package Yep. Yeah. I, mean, I do like the, you know, the game is complete and sure you're playing single player. I, I'm i not totally against that. I think that's still kind of a good way. But like you said, if there's a lot of glitches in it and if it makes, if the game look and feels like it's incomplete, then that's a problem for me. Oh, right. like Battlefield. <laughs> um yeah because it seems like so yeah it seems like with halo like they're doing a really good job but they're doing it in sections like yeah multiplayer campaign and then co-op is next it just i mean i'm fine with like multiplayer i guess being separate but then yeah because usually i don't know back in the day you just wanted to play the campaign beat the campaign then you want to get into multiplayer later on and but I guess things are different these days. But it's just weird having a Halo that you can't do co-op. It's like, man, this is cool, but I I don't really play single-player games. Is true. All I want is the uh, all I want is co-op. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure the story is like really good and everything, but it's like, I've never played a game or Halo. Like, I, I don't really play anything single-player. I mean, I haven't done that in years, man. Like. Yeah, probably 15 years. Probably like Mario or whatnot. Even like Zelda and stuff, I just can't sit down and play a single-player game. It's just not fun for me. And yeah, Halo every time. Halo 1. Other people. Right, yeah, we used to get the Halo games for like Christmas and stuff. Me and my brother used to just sit down and play the whole campaign together. Absolutely. So yeah, it's weird that that's like a staple. But I think I wonder. I feel like the co-op for this new game is gonna be way different. Cause it isn't it supposed to be like um like free roam, open world, the whole like destiny thing, instead of just like going shoulder to shoulder like with your friend. The story. Maybe. I mean, we'll see when it happens, right? Right. I mean, that's, yeah, that's what I heard. So maybe that's why it's taken them a while because they had this whole, like, grandiose idea of um, what they want co op to be instead of just, like, oh, jump in and you're, like, another Master Chief or you're Arbiter or whatever. Jump in and fight along. Oh, but yeah, I, that was cool when you were Master Chief and the Arbiter. Yeah, and then you're, like, that was Halo 3, you're Arbiter, and then you're, like, two other elites or whatever. I don't want to be the red elite. Uh, what is this red elite guy doing? <laughs> so, yeah, the, I guess, because if you, like, I was looking at the map on um in the campaign mode, and, like, so far I'm on, like, one section, and then I zoom, you just zoom out. It's like Google Earth. Like, there's so much to explore, and then there's other, like, little things, like, little like um side quests little things to collect it's like wow like there's a lot to it so it's like it kind of felt like i mean (laughs) i guess this is a pretty bad comparison but it kind of felt like a destiny destiny ish aspect to it where um yeah you like go around and collect stuff exploration yeah yeah and then um yeah free room so although i don't know how you're going to get to certain areas unless you like teleport or you can fly or something i don't know but though from what i've been playing there's no way for me to like move around right now but i don't know we'll see we'll see but yeah that the when i went into that menu i was like whoa this is like a destiny menu like a huge so yeah, it's pretty interesting. Nice. But yeah, that's like cool. May? We have to wait till May? Dude, that's so long. 
Yeah, yeah no, that, a that, that's okay because it's a long time. For co op, maybe. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. In multiplayer, they only have like eight maps. Right. Like, come on, man. <coughs> Excuse me. No, uh, and no Battle Royale just yet. Yeah, well, you know, when it comes out, fingers oh. crossed, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this, like, split release is, like, it just seems like it's good for the devs, but, like, crappy for the players. Like, we just have to wait for pieces of the game, like, Mm -hmm. I can only be excited for Halo once, you know? How many times am I going to, like, oh, Halo's coming out again? Like, well, what if there's something else? <laughs> yeah. like, am I, is anybody going to want to play the campaign in five months again? Like, like oh, dude, it's co-op's out. Uh, I already played it, beat it. Yeah, let's do it. But... I think uh, what I'll probably end up doing is beating this game's campaign single player and then running through all the Halos again on Legendary mode and then playing the game with my buddy in May on legendary mode again. Like that's probably Ooh. how I would do it. I love Halo. Nice. I love Halo. I'm a schmuck for Halo. It's like the one game like <laughs> like I tried to get the Halo or I I tried to get the Halo controller couldn't get it. I got my Halo headset that is clearly not good for my stream cuz it's green screen, but I just don't give a damn. I <laughs> yeah, you just, look like you have little earbuds in or something. I know. I just love <laughs> Halo. Like, you got little yeah, I just I you love Halo. Mouth, huh? I love Halo so much, man. It's like it's the game. Dude, I'm... Way to contradict my like segment. I'm like nobody's gonna want to play the campaign in five months. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and play all the other campaigns. And no, I'm back. like yeah, I'm gonna do it. I, I was gonna. Well, that's why I was doing. It. I was like yeah, no, I'm gonna. Uh, and the reason why, but that's the problem is like I'm. No, it's fine. I'm a it's even fun. even for a Halo player. I'm a very small knit community of people who would be like. Like literally, if I couldn't figure out what to play, like, like next week, like, let's say next week, and I'm just like, I don't know what game to play. Like, there's just nothing that excites me or anything. I literally would be like, dude, I'm gonna play Halo One again, Halo Combat Evolved, Legendary Mode, try to run through all that again. Like, mm -hmm. I just love it. I don't know how many times I beat those campaigns. Like, I can't tell you, but I know I beat them more than any other game. I've, I've played Halo so much. Like, it's such a big so part of my life. Yeah. I can't do I can't do it alone. I just can't. I could totally I was playing do Halo it. 4. I was trying to do Halo Four and Legendary, and I was like sitting on some like freaking what was it like some I was like outside the ship. And I'm like I don't know where to go. This is just boring. <laughs> and like there's one elite running around, and I'm like in space. I'm, like this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even beat Halo Five. I don't think. I think Halo Five. Still incomplete for me, but yeah, I'll play co-op. Like I think we did one through three on Master Chief co-op, and that was fun. But um, I will say this about the new campaign, though, you do get like the combat of all vibes, like right when you get in, like you get those vibes back, which is amazing how they they bring that nostalgia back. Oh, right wicked! So, yeah, it brings you back to the middle school ages. <laughs> You're like, wow, yeah, this they, they really, I don't know about the rest of the campaign, but they really try to bring it back down to, to one. Nice. It, it feels, yeah, it feels so good. Like, it, it's like, I don't know what they're doing with four and five, but like this one, it seems like a successor to three. Like, it definitely seems like they took three and like made it, Next gen, you know. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, they really like. I was like, "What is like in four? I'm like, I'm like playing Call of Duty or like four and five. I'm like, what is this? But then, this one's like, yeah, this is definitely like Halo for sure. Like what you'd expect. So, um, but yeah, that's that's um. I guess that's what all the reviewers are saying. They're, they're saying like it's it's the next Halo since or the next best Halo since Halo Three. So, well, uh, I'll be the judge of that. Download it. You're gonna have to, I'm gonna play it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I probably will wait for co-op. Co yeah, we'll do co-op when it comes out, though. 
we'll have like a pizza sub stream. Yo, I'm down. I'm down to have a pizza yeah. sub stream. That'd be fun. Yeah. That's fun. Hell yeah. So subscribe to our YouTube if you want to see that. Hell yeah, do it. Do it or you're do weak. It. Or you're weak. Yeah. Or you're a PlayStation lover. Which, uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, whatever, guy. Xbox Master Race. <laughs> so, do we have anything else we want to say about Halo? Or... I love it. I'm I'm so glad to be back. I just wish games going forward would stop being stupid. But if yeah, you're there... be stupid on page. <laughs> and dude, and so what's your thought about the uh camp or the multiplayer? Because it's free, right? And and then how do you do you have to pay for armor now? Uh yes no. I think they have some free armor and then the other ones you earn on the um the season pass it just takes forever to earn stuff mm, okay like, like yeah. looking at it right so now I had a, a great like yeah like there's even like armor to buy right I've had now like a great body forever like <sighs> i don't see i hate it i hate the progression on the armor system like i just i'm sick and tired looking the exact same <laughs> I just want new animation when I get in. My guy just cracks one knuckle, and it's so <laughs> disturbing. He gets in. I'm like, what the fuck? That's Crack how you get knuckle? arthritis. Yeah. It's like, great. Was that my trigger finger? No wonder I can't shoot. Right. No, yeah, it's like, this. that's the most awkward one. Like, do something else, man. Like, do like a, a shooter. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I have, and I'm stuck with it. It's like, dude, please to God, I have a gray. My whole guy, that's like what they're doing these days with games. It's like, okay, you just get like the first render model, like a blender model of your guy. If you want anything better than that, you got to pay. If you want something like fully rendered, <laughs> then you got to pay uh, pay for the season pass or whatnot. It's like, I feel like you're getting these gray sculpted like models, and it's like, Hey, it's the first concept guy running around. Looks like crap. Yeah, that guy's poor. He doesn't buy any uh, skins or anything. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's what I feel like you get in these games now. Yeah. Well, like... Yeah. Like you Halo... Pay. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. Halo, like, so I, I'm on it now because I wanted to pull it up and see while it's, the game's downloading and see, like, what's in their shop right now. And literally, like, they have it, like, <sighs> okay, now, now I'm a little upset. So they have this thing called Daisy Delights. You okay? You need a second? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So they have this thing called Daisy Delights bundle, and you got to pay 1500 whatever their version of credits are, which I don't know what that equates to, 15 bucks maybe. And it'll come with three things you can put on your armor. One is a small stuffed teddy bear that you can pin to your chest. Another one is a daisy that gets pinned to the top. I'm dead serious. Gets pinned to the top left side of your helmet. And then is another this for one. Water at least? I, like... No, I wish. And then the third one is a rose that gets attached to the, like the left side, like pinned to your left side of your chest. Yeah, they have charms you can hang off of your guns. Oh, God. Um, so they have, like, a hey, Master Chief, the pilot from the campaign, which hopefully, you know, we'll get to learn. And then, like, I don't even know what this the grapple hook or whatever. Yeah, the grapple hook on the charm. And then um, boots and swap pack. I don't know what this is. XP includes two XP boosts and two challenge swaps. So perfect. So they even that offer you to pay that. Hell. We even pay. You can even pay for that. Phenomenal. I hate XP boosting. I hate XP boosting because it just allows them to sit there and, and already stifle growth, which is what they're doing. So, right, exactly. Yeah. Um, like I can buy a bunch of different armors of like Face Clan, Envy. I can pay their stupid asses for their stupid armor <laughs> set that I don't give a ball sack about. Like, I don't care less. 
Unless none of you know what's funny though? Out of all of these, they could have easily brought back one I would have bought. One I would have bought would have been Final Boss. How do they have all of these EU face clan? I understand them the modern shit. But as a Halo fan, everybody who's an old Halo fan knows Final Boss. Everybody knows Final Boss is one of the is the greatest Halo MLG team of all time. How do you at least not have out of all these stupid, dumb freaking MLG teams I won't give a rat's ass about and I hope they all just fail. How do you have all these guys and not have final boss for me to buy? Disappear. Right, right. Because it's current. Because it's the current guys. They want them to like represent them and I don't care. I want Where's the average <laughs> Joe skin? That's what I, I don't want. even give a sh yeah, forget no, forget mine. I want the average Joe skin. The average Joe skin, like your freaking Spartan gains weight, like looks like some he gets the dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got he doesn't have a helmet on. He can't it doesn't fit He's like my double kid. chins hanging out and stuff like that too. Oh, like, yeah. He's got his like kid strapped to him. Yeah. Like you, his kid in the front. Yeah, and oh, then wait, um to your, sleep kid. So you know in Halo you can sprint forever and behind like you sprint for like 10 seconds and your character's got to stop running and like his hands goes on his knees <laughs> trying to catch his breath. Yeah. He like dies slowly but complains about it. <laughs> like everything. This, this yeah. sucks. Like a chum. Someone tries to pick me up in the Warthog. I'm like, have you seen the price of gas? Jesus. <laughs> he just complains. <laughs> the whole time. Oh. This is just frustrating. Like, oh, oh this game's on complete. Really, a grenade again? His head just blows up. He's still complaining. <laughs> right. You guys totally love Halo so much. Nobody's been watching the clock. Dang, we just keep going and going, huh? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was gonna mention uh, something about uh, the new Warzone Pacific. What were you gonna mention got... about it? Have you played it? Seen it? Anything? No, I don't. I don't. I stopped playing Warzone. I stopped playing Call of Duty. Well, all that I can say, yeah, I watched Doctor Disrespect play a little bit of it, and all I can say is, thank God they changed up Warzone. Like it's it's good that they did this. It's like uh, it's kind of like a World War Two, but it's still it's still Warzone. Yeah. But thank God. I mean, it's a whole new map. I mean, they got the different guns. It's Pacific World War II feeling, so thank God that Warzone is... I don't know if Warzone's gone or if it's just now. maybe now it's just Pacific. Uh, it's probably just Pacific because of the new game that they released. Um, but yeah, it looks... I mean, it's, it, I'm glad they changed it up, but yeah, they still have the same guy. You're in the gulag. It's like, did they not change that guy? You're the gulag now, and then uh, the they have the uh, UAVs are the same, the everything like. So yeah, it's just kind of like a new skin in a way. But I'm glad they changed it because it's wow, look three years. But it's pretty much the same. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they use the engine that they used in Vanguard. I think it's called. Hmm. But um, thank God that they changed it. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna try it or be able to. But um, I mean, I still don't really like Warzone at all. But I'm glad that they changed it up, and I'm glad that it's not like, oh, a new map, but the same Modern Warfare stuff. I'm glad that it's completely different. In 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 this sense, I guess, but it's still is Warzone. Right. Right. So you still drop in. Like classic drop-ins and stuff like that? Yeah. Well, yeah, you jump out of a plane. I guess the plane's burning down. Yeah. Jump see, out of it. See, but that, like, that's like, at least, you know, at least Call of Duty's trying to add their stuff. Like, I mean, I just don't know what the hell Battlefield's doing. Did you hear? So rumors are that the next Battlefield is going to try to be a hero FPS game. They're going to try to go full on Overwatch with Battlefield. What? Ooh, they can't even get classes in the game. Dude, they put they did. They put class in that. I mean, they have like what they call specialists now, like their goddamn Call of Duty. Like, if they do a hero shooter, like, 
I, I just, I wish nothing but the worst on dice. I hope every single person there gets cursed. I hope every employee that works on that game, if they make a, Jeez. like, it, no, no, don't, no, wow. no, no. If they seriously make Battlefield's next Battlefield game, not a, I'm just earning a paycheck, man. I got kids. No, I don't, no, they, they, no, they, they know that they could ease. It's their choice. They're not being forced to work there. They literally could be like, nah, man, Jeez. I'm out. You like sounding like they're like Nazis. Um. <laughs> no, man. I'm just saying. Like, why would they you win? Are they are. They're committing a crime, and I wish nothing but the worst on them. They just like they just hand it off to the uh, the Taliban or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> to make it. I wish nothing but the worst on them if they make Battlefield a hero shooter. I wish nothing but the worst yeah, on them. I mean, they're already really doing something funny, terrible. Funny. Like one of the specialists, they have him dressing up like Santa Claus. What do they call him? They, they call him Father Winter is the name of it. <laughs> oh, God. I was so excited. I think I was more excited for Battlefield 2042 than Halo. And now it's like, I just want to play Halo. Yeah. I've literally yeah. played Battlefield 2042 for two hours. I still could probably argue to get my money back. Yeah, you know, what you just, what driving underground in your tank? Yeah, the whole time. I, I'm just like I just. This is why I don't like gaming. This is why I would rather like, I don't know, do the dishes than playing some video games sometimes. <laughs> like the only games I've been having fun, which Chris and I still got to get together and play, which is um, Back for Blood, and freaking yeah, yeah. Um, Halo. Gotta, I want to really see how the cross platform on that goes. It's pretty good. The only reason why I haven't played is because the new update made the game so dang hard, like so dang hard. And then the creators of the game even came out and said, yo, we're real sorry. We didn't realize it was going to be this tough. So they're going to like make it easier. <laughs> we're sorry you guys are not at our level. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. They're like, they're like, we'll Whoops. lower it a bit. <laughs> they're like, our bad, our bad. It was so funny, dude. Like it's fun. It's like their tweet was hilarious. So like, yo, our bad. We didn't know. We'll fix it. <laughs> we didn't know. Everything's easy for us. Bah. Jesus. Nice. But yeah, man, that's games these days. Man, what is going on? It's like um, it's like I wish I was like going to school like now because like I wouldn't care about video games as much. But, like, back, like, when I was going to school, like, 360 came out, Halo 3 came out, Modern Warfare. It's, like, all these good God, games. Dang. It's, like, dang, man. man. I had to, like, good rush my schoolwork. And, like, yes, now we're going to get on, like, some Gears of War, some Halo. Right, right. But, yeah, nowadays it's just, like, Fortnite. I could care less, man. Yeah. Wars is the only thing that got me back into gaming. Right now, four to five. Halo, Halo went back for blood, baby. Halo went back for blood. That's all I want to play right now. Nice. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, anything else we should say? Uh, I think I'm good. About? Yep, me too. All right. So, uh, where can they find you, Joe? Uh, twitch.tv um, forward slash average Joe. So A V G J O E S H O W. All right, cool, cool. Go uh, check him out. Give him a follow on Twitch. He'll be playing all your uh, favorite games. The, uh... <laughs> as long as those favorite games are back for blood and Halo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Fortnite or Warzone. Oh, you know me, dude. Oh, I'm all on that Warzone Fortnite grind. Fortnite? You gonna play Fortnite? Yeah, man. Hey, I'm gonna play that Fortnite, dude. Uh, I just remember Dr. Disrespect. Okay. <laughs> um, What about you, Chris? Where can they find you? Monkey Pro Monkey Butler Improv dot com. We teach classes for free down at Seawool Child Development Center in Denver, and we have classes in Boulder. Nice, nice. Go check them out, guys. Um, and also, check out the Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash pizza subs pod, P-O-D, up in there. 
and um yeah support your guys uh, help us help us continue this podcast get better equipment get better acting <laughs> and everything <laughs> um and uh yeah we appreciate you listening along go subscribe to our youtube and our instagrams and all that and uh we'll uh catch you guys on the next one it's been, it's been real and fun guys thanks for uh Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. Later. All right. Peace.